So we got a breakdown and a minor cleaning for the uh, Smith & Wesson equalizer. And I'm going to talk a little bit about it. Um, comes with three mags. 10 round, um, 13 round, and a 15 round. And they are the... Uh, the MMP shield mags, MMP shield mags are interchangeable. This is the 15, the 13, and the 10. And it does come with a, a Uplula mag loader. I'm not sure if this is the one I got with it, or if this is my other one, but it comes in handy very much so. It's a little hard to, to load the last couple rounds in, but uh, no mag in there. Empty chamber. I took this out to the range today. Um, I've had this gun for a little while. I like it very much. It's cut out for optics. Um, feels really good in the hand. It's got the grip safety and the ambidextrous thumb safety. Uh, really easy to rack from the front or the back. Some days I feel like I can almost air rack it, but it's not that easy. But this is the like a MMP shield and it's Smith & Wesson EZ had a baby. That's this. Um, at first, I did not like this, but you really can't tell when you're shooting it. It feels really good. Only thing I don't like is the three white dots. It could be better. They could have either blacked this out or did the front a different color. But um, real easy, clean. So let's ooh, lock it back. I don't know why I did that so weird. So we're gonna push this down. Boom. Comes right out. And actually, uh, shot probably about 100 rounds or so out of this. I took one of my other nines, one of the new ones I just bought. And, uh, it's actually really not dirty. If you don't know much about the Smith & Wesson Equalizer, it is an internally hammer-fired pistol. It is easy racking. It's got a low or a light recoil spring so it makes recoil a lot better um, it's like a mid-sized gun they they call it uh, oh, oh, sorry if I did that a little too fast for some people some people already know some people don't um, you gotta be careful with this there's uh, two flat sides and two round sides you wanna get the round side in there that's how it's supposed to go if you look at this it's rounded out you can see that but yeah you just pop that out take the barrel out that's all the breakdown you're ever gonna need to do got me a rag got me two little brushes it's really all you need unless your gun is super super dirty which mine is not rim oil I use this for cleaning and oil and oiling I've used it for years I use it on my AR, on all my pistols, I like it. Put your finger on the barrel, spray some down in there. Let it go all the way down, back out. Get a little, a little soaky soak. Spray that down some. I'm gonna let that soak just a little bit. Yeah, I probably should be wearing gloves. It's all good. I'm gonna wash my hands. Go worship. Well, yeah. Um, this is a really good gun. I like it. I've shot probably uh, three, four hundred rounds out of this so far, and I've only had one problem ever. When I first first bought the gun, I put a fresh mag in there. First shots, literally first shots. I haven't shot it out one time at this point, and I put a fresh full mag in there, and the slide got stuck the safety even when the safety is on on this gun you can still rack the slide but the safety was not on and uh, for a second I couldn't figure it out I had to take the the mag out and I think it was just because the mag might have been a little too full because of the spring or something it was pushing up in just the right spot but uh ever since then I've had zero problems whatsoever with this firearm um, I actually like it a lot. 
And it was, uh, I got it on sale. It's about, uh, paid a little over five out the door. Right now on their, their website, it's six. Five ninety nine, six hundred even, which, I mean, honestly is not bad for this pistol. Especially if you got small hands or you got like arthritis or something. So you're going to go in with the brush. But yeah, you got like arthritis or you got small hands or anything of that nature. This is a pretty, pretty good gun for you, I'd say. Because it's very easy to rack. The recoil is very manageable. It's not bad at all. We don't call that good on that. We're going to shove this down there, clean it out a little bit. But the recoil is minimal. It got good capacity. It's easily concealed, in my opinion. Um, I would recommend. I can uh, drop down a video of one of the times I took this to the range, give you a little idea. I didn't take any videos of it when I went to the range today because I was reviewing. Um, couple other guns so I wanted to keep it mainly to them guns really this doesn't look like it got very much use today though I shot about a hundred rounds out of it and uh looks damn near pristine so we're gonna put a little on the rails all the high wear areas Get these rails back here a little bit on the hammer mechanism so on the spring right there so then we gotta put a little bit in these rails that's a high friction area you want to get that and this is internally hammer fired I like to spray the barrel down just a little bit spray the sides because this, this part the barrel is always moving you know Yeah, if you don't like how much oil I'm putting in here, fight me. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, this is how I've always done it. Never really had any problems. There you go. So then we're gonna take in, line them up, slide it back. Lock it, flip this back up, and before we do anything else, I'm going to give her a good wipe down. Try to get all the residuals, or most of the residuals off. Ain't going to get all of it. But a uh, little, little oil on the outside never hurt any gun. Well, it might hurt a few guns, but as I was saying though, like, safety's on. You can still rack it, but nothing happens. It's pretty cool. Not bad. Cool feature, I guess. And so then, if you're scared you're going to blow one when you've racked the round, you can just put it on safety and you're good from the get-go, which is uh, not bad. This is marketed more towards older people or people with smaller hands or new shooters, but you know, with it being optic cut and everything for $600 on their website, you cannot beat that but since we got it all done we're gonna give it a little uh, test function test so listen for the click boom reset keep the trigger held down listen for the reset boom this is not a very notable reset it's not very audible you can't feel it the greatest either but it is crisp like when you're shooting it, it feels pretty good and we got a little bit of take up boom again Boom. Then we're gonna one more time. Take your finger off of there. Nothing. So then we're gonna nothing. Boom. And that is the Smith and Wesson equalizer. Let me know your thoughts on it. I like this gun very much, actually. Very much. Nice gun. Solid shooter. Not a lot of recoil keeps it all in the same place it's not tiny it's a decent sized gun but yeah check it out if you can you can afford one man grab one I'd recommend it highly recommend it very good gun
does come in a cardboard box though. Kind of jank. Wish it came in a hard plastic for six hundred dollars in the Smith and Wesson name, but not bad. Not bad at all. Peace out. Have a good one.